Hi, I'm Dr. Rafael Gonzalez, and today I want to talk to you about something that needs your attention, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Now, I know that might sound like a mouthful, but let me break it down for you. Duchenne is a really awful disease. It's a terminal muscle wasting disease without a cure yet. It's something that affects about one in every 3,500 births, mainly boys. Imagine this. By the time these boys are around three years old, they get diagnosed. And sadly, most of them end up in wheelchairs by the time they're just 12 years old and lose their battle by 21. As a parent myself, I can't even begin to imagine what it would be like to hear that your child has Duchenne, knowing that they might not be able to walk, play, or even move like other kids their age, it's just devastating. Right after diagnosis, Duchenne boys are mostly put on steroids to try and slow down the progression of disease. However, these steroids also affect all the organs and cause liver, heart, and kidney damage, leading to the addition of more medications, not to mention behavioral issues and weight gain, which in turn causes children to lose ambulation quicker. How would you feel as a parent having to deal with this? Our hope is to eliminate the use of steroids for these children. I graduated from the University of California, Irvine, with a PhD in biology in the Department of Anatomy and Neurobiology and have since been responsible for the development of clinical stem cell applications for several disease and trauma states. I have led multiple investigational new drug applications with patented stem cell technology. I am the Chief Scientific Officer of ReStem. We are a leading clinical stage biopharmaceutical company focused on the discovery and development of patient-specific cell therapies that are designed to activate and enhance a patient's own immune system. Our therapies are designed to enable the treatment of a broad range of disabling diseases that improve patient outcomes, as well as overall health and wellness for patients around the world. Our scientists have partnered with JAR of Hope and University of Florida to use a particular type of stem cell that has shown promise in other FDA-approved clinical trials in improving quality of life and reducing steroid use. We designed a Phase 1 clinical trial, approved by the FDA for young boys suffering with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. There is a significant need for better treatment options, and this trial using ReStem's novel Umbilical Cord Lining Stem Cell ULSC's therapy offers the potential to improve or slow disease progression with hopes of giving these children more time on their feet. Looking to the future, we are excited about this clinical trial. ReStem will be donating the stem cells for all 12 children that will be participating. This is the first time regenerative medicine will be used with Duchenne children giving them much needed hope. This study, happening at the University of Florida, is a novel approach to fighting Duchenne. We are blazing a new trail to fight this 200-year-old disease where no child has ever survived. We will be assessing changes in walking, upper body strength, respiratory function, muscle, and heart function. We will also look at biomarkers of muscle and heart damage along with biomarkers of the immune system. We believe that treating the entire system through an intravenous administration may help modulate the immune system and increase blood flow, which may slow down the degenerative effects of Duchenne and improve the boy's quality of life. In addition to this, we want to work on reducing and or replacing steroid use with our cell therapy, which is natural and safe. To date, with our three clinical studies, we have not had any severe adverse effects with only minor effects like body aches and shivering following an IV of ULSCs. Currently, the application of these ULSCs, which are better cells, has shown progress with heart failure and polymyositis and dermatomyositis patients. To help these boys and to start the trial, we only need to raise $1.4 million. Every little bit helps, so if you can, please consider donating. Let's give these boys a chance at a better life. You can donate at jarofhope.org.